In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create your own CMS. You will be able to build a platform similar to WordPress or Joomla from scratch and manage your website easily and efficiently. CMS stands for Content Management System. It's a type of a platform that lets you quickly add and edit content. If you ever used WordPress, Joomla, Wix, Drupal or similar service, that's basically what it is. If you are planning to build an e-commerce, blog, forum or other kind of projects that will process more than a few pages, you should start with building core CMS functionalities like user management or or post management. I'm David from mdbootstrap.com. I invite you to use timestamps in description and the playback speed option. Turn on subtitles if you need them. And the most important thing, remember to code along with me. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. What we're going to use for this project is called XAMPP. This is the set of a couple of tools which are helpful when it comes to the development with PHP and MySQL. So basically, by downloading this XAMPP uh, from apachefriends.org, uh, we're going to get a couple of things. And as you can see, it's available for all the platforms. So regardless whether you are using Windows or Mac OS, uh, you can also install it and it's going to look pretty much the same. So uh, perhaps when you are watching this video, and um, uh, this look might be a little bit different because uh, they change the UI every now and then, but the basic concept should remain the same. So let me quickly install it right now for you and show you the configuration panel. Okay, before we start one note, uh, during the installation, you may get information, at least on the Windows, about disabling user access control. Um, so if you want to do it, just uh, press Windows user account control settings and then just switch it off or make sure that you are not installing uh, XAMPP to Windows uh, C drive and then program files. The default location is C XAMPP so that should work for you anyway but just make sure uh, so that you wouldn't be surprised during the installation process. Okay so this is the configuration panel. As I mentioned before it may look slightly different depending on what um, operating system and what version of XAMPP uh, are you going to be using. And usually it's pretty much self-descriptive and it looks pretty much the same. So we have all these different services over here and we're going to be using two of them within this project. So we're going to start Apache and then we're going to start MySQL, uh, which is going to be our database. And let's go through uh, each and every one by one right now. Uh, we got the extra prompt here. Um, so we Windows is asking whether we want to give access to our network. Uh, I'm going to mark both of the option and click allow access because obviously we are doing this on purpose. This is nothing wrong. It's not any kind of virus. So this is expected behavior. Um, OK, so now um, once we have our Apache started, let's navigate to this PC local drive C XAMPP folder and we're going to find interesting folder here which is HD docs. Now if we navigate to localhost without any port we're going to see this screen over here it's it's dashboard um so if we go to dashboard we're going to see that this is these are the files which are being displayed here so this is how the pretty much like you know um any other server would work so except for the fact that this one is interpreting the PHP and not only uh, HTML. So let's create a um, new folder here, CMS. Oops. Let's navigate into it and let's open this with our Visual Studio code. And now, obviously, it's going to ask us whether we trust this. And let me... Oh, we don't need this one. We want to see the preview and let's create a new file here and let's call it index.php okay um some few notification from our uh ide because we don't have a certain extension let's ignore it for now um and let's do first php code so let's do let's open our php and then do echo hello what let's save it and now if we go to cms instead of dashboard we should see our hello world working so this means that our php server is working right now um now let's go and jump into the uh our database so basically we can connect to the database in many different ways and i've got a tutorial on mysql so uh, if you want to 
check this out. Check the description down below for the link uh, to, to this tutorial. However, I'm going to quickly show you how we can admin our MySQL from web browser. If we click here, admin, it's going to get us to this localhost PHP MyAdmin, which is a nice GUI for uh, our database management. So here we have different databases, users, and this is what we're going to work on in a second.